Video that is shocking everyone who sees it. A carriage horse sprawled out on a hot New York City street. Les Trent tells us what happened to the horse named Ryder. It was an upsetting sight. Come on, buddy. A carriage horse collapsed in the aptly named Manhattan neighborhood known as Hell's Kitchen. The temperature that day had reached 87 degrees. The pavement was much hotter. The horse is named Ryder, and he remained on the ground for more than an hour while police hosed him down. Finally, he was able to get to his feet. The time has come to end this barbaric, inhumane practice. Today in New York, animal activists called for a complete ban on horses. The supporters would say that this is part of a New York tradition. Uh, is there not a safe way to continue this tradition? It, again, uh, uh, the circus, the circus was a tradition. You want to hear that? The circus. Is, does anybody feel that we should have a, abusive animals in the circus? Witnesses say they saw Ryder in extreme distress hours before he couldn't go a step farther. Hours before Ryder collapsed on August 10th, he was seen struggling to walk, falling to his knees. Here at Central Park, the horse and carriage ride is a big part of the New York tourism experience. But for years, animal rights activists have been calling for an end to the tradition, claiming it's cruel. Could the disturbing video of Ryder in distress be the spark that galvanizes the anti-horse carriage movement? Where is Ryder today? We, we don't have the information as to where he is. We're very concerned. Christina Hansen, who represents carriage drivers, says Ryder has a neurological disorder and was not suffering from heat stroke when he collapsed. There's no reason to ban well cared for, highly regulated businesses uh, who are taking good care of their horses. We've just learned Ryder is now living in what's being called a vacation ranch where he is fully retired.